Welcome! This short video will provide you with a preview to our exciting new interactive analysis client, Pentaho Analyzer. Based on the latest in Web 2.0 technologies, Pentaho Analyzer empowers end users to interactively explore information and answer challenging business questions using a rich yet simple drag and drop interface. We'll begin in the Pentaho User Console by selecting New Analyzer View. For the purposes of this demonstration, Let's imagine that we want to build a report analyzing profitability based on store type and location. I'll begin by selecting my cube and generating a blank analyzer view. Building queries is as simple as locating the content that I wish to view from the field list on the right and dragging it onto the canvas. So for our report, we'll grab product family, store sales, store cost, and then we also wanted to analyze this by store type and store location. Since I have quite a few pieces of information here, I can use the find control at the top of the field list to quickly locate fields I'm interested in. Now that we have the basic information we wish to retrieve, I'll show you some of the more advanced features and functionality of Pentaho Analyzer. First of all, let's look at the charting capabilities. Switching our data to a chart is as simple as clicking on the chart button, or I can select from a number of other different chart types including bars, stack bars, lines, pies, and area charts. I can also format my information by simply right-clicking on column headers, customizing the header names, data formatting, and even column size. Next, we'll add subtotals to our reports for our groupings by right-clicking on store type and saying show subtotals. Next, let's look at some of the sorting and filtering capabilities of Pentaho Analyzer. I'm going to rearrange my report a little bit. And let's say we want to retrieve the top three store types by product family. I'll right click on sales, select top 10, etc., and choose to do top three by sales. And now I have the top three store types within my product family. Notice that as I add filters to my report, they're nicely displayed in the filter panel here at the top. So if I ever want to add, customize, or remove filters, I can simply open the filter panel and then edit or remove my filters. Finally, I'll demonstrate how to add a calculated column to our report. I'll begin by right-clicking on Sales and selecting Calculated Number. This opens the Calculated Number dialog where I'll enter a name for the new column define its formatting, and create the calculation. So in this case, we'll create a profit column by taking sales minus cost of goods sold, and click OK. And finally, I'll place the new profit column where I like it to appear on the report. Thank you for taking the time to view this brief preview of Pentaho Analyzer. There are many more exciting features not covered in today's presentation, including those shown here. For more information or to request a live demonstration, please contact sales at pentaho.com.